And I'm Nate Rogers in Studio 32. Elk Grove Village authorities today release body camera footage and audio recordings involving a recent police-involved shooting. We see the resident involved apparently holding a knife. We also learned that police had prior contact with this individual. This was Jack Murray on the phone with a 911 dispatcher December 1st. Somebody acting erratic with a knife. Seems dangerous. Murray gives the operator his That's name. Okay. She then calls back and speaks with his father, who says his son is possibly drunk. Police arrive at the family's home within minutes. The officers who responded to this incident have received a combination of crisis intervention training, mental health training, and de-escalation training, all of which were utilized in this incident. Did you be back with you today? Yeah, it's not for Murray is seen walking with what authorities say is a knife in his hand. Officers repeatedly saying, Jack, put it down! Put it down, Jack! Eventually, the 24-year-old is tased twice, but he keeps walking. Then, seconds later, he's shot at least four times in the chest. Murray died at the hospital. The family's attorney, Tony Ramanucci, says the video shows a partial version and that Murray was physically injured, emotionally distressed, confused, slurring, and not okay. Also, with officers admittedly having beanbag rifles, Ramanucci questions why that tactic was never used. We didn't see a lunge. We didn't see the knife pointed at the officers. He may have turned towards them, but they didn't give him any opportunity for time or distance in order to preserve his life. Now, only a portion of that police body camera footage was released. The mayor says they'll, polic they'll publicize remaining video as soon as possible. The family also maintains that Murray was suffering an emotional disturbance brought on by his diabetes. Also, his father told that same dispatcher that his son had been jumped the night before and broke his foot. Of course, we continue to follow the story, and we'll keep you updated on air and online. In Studio 32, I'm Nate Rogers. Natalie? Nate, thank